everyone, this is Lulu from As You Wish Pottery and today we will be painting this awesome exploring platter. As always, here's our supply list. Feel free to pause this section or gather all your supplies and start along with me. With a pencil, trace the outline of a solid rim plate on the center of your platter. Use a marker to go over the traceable image on the center of your platter. Now we will use the Black Love Fun Writer to outline our letters, outline our designs, and fill in the spaces around the letters and designs. So with the Fun Writer, my suggestion is to always start off by squeezing lightly and kind of moving the paint around with the tip. Just remember um, that one great thing about a Fun Writer is the heavier you squeeze, the darker the color will become. So if you wanted to have really, really nice uh, small lines, all you have to do is squeeze lightly. And if you wanted to have them be a little bit thicker and if you want to fill in more space, just squeeze in a little bit more. So here I just went around the platter and I outlined all my letters, outlined all my flowers and things like that. Then I just went in and uh, did little stripes around each section and just kind of moved the platter around to fit uh, however I wanted to fit my stripes and I just wanted to be able to hold it in a comfortable way um, that way I could make sure that all the patterns were fun and different and it didn't seem like I was just going the same direction at all times. Remember to brush off any excess graphite that you have on your platter just so that way your lines are clean and crisp. Since we're going to be filling in this whole platter with Fun Rider lines and accents, I highly suggest that you find a way to hold the Fun Rider in a comfortable manner. Um, I always have a little bit of paper towels on my side or something like that so I can squeeze um, the Fun Rider and get a good grip for it so that way I know like how much I need to squeeze if I need to hold the Fun Rider in a different way or um, if my fun order is full enough or it's too full, things like that. So just remember that before you start on your platter, you are more than welcome to practice on the table or on any paper that you have laying around you. So as you see, I am moving my platter around and I'm filling in the spaces however I feel comfortable. Um, one great thing to remember with fun writers is that wherever you start your line will be a little bit thicker than wherever you end it. So if you want it to go over and kind of thicken the other side of your line, feel free to do that now while the paint is still wet, while you have some mobility going on. Um, a big advice I would tell is that you kind of get comfortable with filling in your spaces. Get creative with it. Do whatever feels comfortable to you. Make it look however you want to make it look. Um, and just have a good time moving your paint around. Another advice I would say too is if you make a mistake, if you smudge paint or anything like that, just let it dry really well. Yes, this is black, so it will stain, so we just have to make sure that we let it dry really well, that way we can erase it off with, the, with an eraser and sand it off if needed be. Luckily, I smudged a little and I didn't have to do that. I just had to wait for it to dry and erase it with an eraser. So that made it really easy for me. So I always suggest that whenever you make mistakes, just let them dry and you can erase pretty much anything and everything. While you're outlining things, feel free to add accents to the leaves, um, to the flowers, add thinner lines and things like that. Just the same way, squeezing a little less hard as you would by filling in the spaces. Now we will use the uh, Blue Heaven Fun Writer to fill in the letters. Feel free to make some dashes, add some accents, do whatever you'd like to do. Just keep in mind you don't have to use Blue Heaven, you can use any color that you'd like. One great thing is that black goes well with any color. I just felt like this color uh, was a very summery color and it just made the platter pop for me. But if you want to add another color, go for it. Do something bright and have fun with it. Try your best to not scratch any of the black on the outside or around the letter, just so it doesn't mix in with the blue and kind of create a 
darker tone for the color. Um, also, we don't want to have any specks of the darker color inside our super light blue. Lastly, we will use Blue Heaven paint in a long detail brush to paint stripes around our ring. So with this effect, I always suggest that you dip your brush in paint every time you're about to make a line and that you press your brush down to the piece and then lift up as you are finishing to create that thick to thin effect. Make sure that you clean your area as you go around just so that way we don't get blue paint on the bottom of our rim. These lines always look best for me when I do them away from myself, um, but I've seen a lot of people do them different ways, so just find the way that feels more comfortable for you and do it that way. Here's our finished product. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned a few new tricks with the Fun Writer, and thanks for painting. Thanks for watching.